Welcome back to another Phone Fix Friday. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving yesterday. Today we're going to be taking a look at an iPhone 13 Pro Max that's got no Wi-Fi and no service. And this isn't service related to damage of the 5G antenna like I showed on Wednesday's video and how to fix it. And I know that because there's a common type of damage on the iPhones, especially the larger ones. So let's get into the video. Here I have an iPhone that doesn't have any service or Wi-Fi. We go into the Wi-Fi, it's just grayed out. Go to Bluetooth, and it just continually thinks. There's a common failure in this phone, and that is when the motherboard basically splits. I'm gonna show you how we fix that. Take out the bottom two screws. If you haven't seen these yet, it's definitely worth a look. It allows you to torque down just the right amount on, on the iPhone. Pop the screen off. Looks like someone's been in here before. The battery looks like it's been transferred. Maybe this is a frame swap. Let's take off the bracket for the screen. Disconnect the battery. Disconnect the display. It's like the bracket was missing a screw for the proximity sensor. Let's disconnect all of the connectors here. Definitely someone's been in here. Pop out the SIM card tray. And this battery isn't even in there. That's not good. They pried it out, left the old adhesive. It's all wrinkled. Great. Let's take out the screws in the bracket that houses the 5G antenna. Disconnect the antenna. We have a standoff screw to take out. And out comes the board. Looks like we've got some glue here on the back. And I think that this is a frame swap. So I'm curious if what happened was they tried a backlash repair and that didn't work. So they tried a housing. And so, yeah, there's a shard of glass right there. I wonder if they used the glass breaker on the back of the phone and hit the board. That could definitely be the reason you're having no service. You peel off this little heat sink here. And sometimes if you hit the light just right, you'll see an impact mark. Not seeing any there, so it's most likely that this the, the board split here somewhere. We'll pull out our heating platform. It looks like I've got the 13 Pro Max ready to go. I'll plug it in. Turn it on. Put our board in there. Get it nice and seated down inside there. We'll start the heating process. Now that we're up to temperature, we come in gently. So now I'm just gonna carefully push down on different parts of the board, kind of agitating it a little bit. What's basically happening is the solder balls that have cracked or, or split are fusing back together. Any, this will basically fix any of the disconnects that have happened from the impact or from the removal or from the repair itself. Forgot to take off these little stickers. I guess it's not too late. I just won't be able to reuse them. Now that it's had a few minutes, we'll let it cool down. And once it's cooled down, we'll reassemble it in the phone and test it. All right, so after that quick reflow, where we just kind of agitated the board a little bit. A lot of the time, that's all that it takes. Sometimes you actually have to go in and separate the board entirely and fix pulled pads and things like that, but it's always worth heating it up, letting it cool down after agitating it just to check. So here I've got it installed back inside. We'll go ahead and turn it on. We'll wait for it to boot up and then we'll test it and see, do we have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, service back? Hopefully we do. All right, 
let's take a look. So now we can go and check out our Wi-Fi. It's green now, and you can see, we can definitely see Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, everything's there once again. All right, let's just check and see. Let me get the IMEI information. So yeah, service is back. It's not always that simple, but a good portion of the time, it is. Something to note, if the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth still aren't working after a reflow, that means that there is most likely pad damage between the sandwich boards, or it could be something more serious like damage to the baseband. I've made a video covering how to fix the pads. I think it was back in April. So if you find yourself in need of knowing how to do that, go and watch that video. But as for this device, you can see that it's working once again. We have Wi-Fi, we have, it recognizes the serial number, we got service. This one's all fixed and good to go. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Or if there's something that you'd like to see in a future video, let me know as well. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.